Hey everybody, Mark here at Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining us. Talk tonight, um, we're going to talk about staircases and what we're seeing as far as people is what they want to do to change the look of their home. It's a great uh, way, especially in the entry of your home, most of the times uh, your staircase is in your in your entry or your foyer of your home. Sometimes they run across the back side of your home. So uh, there's, a, there's, um, there's a lot of different things you can do. So let's first talk about some of the components of a stair. And since I don't have one here, I'm going to try to best describe what we've got going on here. Okay. So uh, there are roughly about a half dozen or so parts to a staircase. So let me talk to you about them in order. So obviously you have your rails, which is your handrail, and then your bottom rail. That's where your next part, which is your baluster and your newel post. The baluster or spindle is that skinny little piece of wood or metal that runs that kind of gives it a decorative look to your staircase. The newel post is the kind of the larger post at the end. You know, it's placed every so, so many feet, probably six feet, uh, to kind of stabilize your stair. So it's a bigger, we'll just call it a larger baluster, but that's called the newel post. Okay, so we've talked about rails, we've talked about balusters or spindles, depending upon how you describe them. Newel post. Then let's talk about the really the stair part of the, the of your staircase. So you've got the two sides that run up on most staircases. Those are called stringers, okay? And then you have the face that goes up. It's called a riser. And then you have the piece of wood or the surface you step on that is called the tread. So it's a stringer to your sides, the riser goes up, that's simple because your stair is rising, and tread where you're walking. So that's your components of your staircase there. So, you know, not everybody knows that. You'd be surprised on how many folks do and do not know what the parts are. So when we're talking about this, you, you, you know, I'm a big believer in the more informed you are, the better decisions you can make. Okay, so now we know what, what our components are. So what are our choices? as far as what we can do to change the look of our staircase. Uh, we've done complete tear outs and that's where we're gonna find we wanna change the overall look of the, the staircase to change maybe the, the wood structure like going from a lot of what we have taken out is usually like red oak and we're replacing it with a maple or a cherry or something that's a different type of wood when it's stained or painted. Uh, so it's got a little bit different look. Um, also we're, we're going to be changing up the balusters where we go from a wood to a metal or just a different wood. So there's a lot, but you're talking thousands and tens of thousands of dollars uh, when it comes to uh, re replacing a pull, a complete tear out and replace because a lot of times uh, in homes today, we have to tear out all of the risers, the treads, the stringers. We did a two-story project in the uh, city of Chicago uh, last year, and it was it was pretty awesome. It was definitely something that the homeowner had wanted to change completely because it was a much older home, and she really kind of wanted to make it ma make it look much more contemporary and fit the house. So uh, that's that's kind of the the biggest uh, the uh, the biggest fish there so that you know you can do that and it looks great but expect to pay like I said you're in the thousands to tens of thousands of dollars and definitely uh, in that respect unless you are a master carpenter I'm going to tell you right now you're definitely going to want to hire a professional to do the layout and installation you will you will be in incredibly surprised on how talented and how well uh, they can put that together in such a short period of time. And usually layout is the key in that. Okay, so let's move on to a couple other options that we're seeing out there. Um, a lot of times uh, our customers will want to just change something, either the handrail or the balusters. And usually more often times than not, they'll change out the balusters. And they'll either go from uh, traditional colonial style 
oak or even um, uh, poplar to a, a metal baluster, uh, some with the little nests in it. There's a million options out there. We're seeing more of that, um, a mixture of, you know, a couple blends of two or three different types of balusters in a staircase. So uh, that's kind of option two that we're seeing out there. Just a simple replacement of the spindles. And usually what we end up doing at that point in time is um, we're going to change up the color of the stain on the handrails, the bottom rails, the, uh, the stringers and the risers. So um, we get asked all the time, what can, how can we change this? You know, because it, 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 be, it can start to add up the cost of, of redoing your staircase. So we try to find uh, what they want and we either are going to end up having to chemically strip you know, the stain off or if we're looking just to freshen up the look and deepen up the stain where we'll just sand the, the scuff the surface and really bite into that varnish uh, on the surface then we do a layered stain on top and then recoat it and everything and we try to that's in a situation where we're going from something that's a little lighter to maybe a little darker uh, you really can't work that the other way because it's kind of hard to do so um, but chemically stripping it is a very tedious process uh, looks great and everything but if that's if you want a specific color to to work with so that's kind of option two. Um, and the, really the final thing is I, the most, I, I would say the most cost effective way that we really change the look of a staircase in our customers' homes today is painting the balusters or spindles, depending upon how you define those. Um, and then we'll also paint the risers and possibly the stringers, depending upon the layout of the staircase. So it gives it a little bit more of a, a contemporary feel. And I, uh, most of the time we're painting them a white or off-white. Um, we've thrown a couple, you know, we've, we've painted some spindles black. So uh, don't, be, don't be afraid to, to get a little um, adventurous and, uh, you know, maybe paint them a little bit, you know, maybe even paint them the wall color in the room, just something or even a complementary color to the, to the room. So... Um, that's probably the most cost-effective way, the way that we find that people would want to change the look because they're just tired of what they want, but they don't want to, they don't want to spend a ton of money uh, changing up the look, but they do want to make a look uh, change in their home. So that's really a great uh, cost-effective way to make your staircase really pop. Uh, kind of ending this here, we're going to talk about a couple different tips on what we can recommend to you when you are doing a staircase uh, first and foremost if you're say you're putting in a new staircase and you got um, you decide you want all wood stairs but no runners um, I'm not against it I would just make sure if you're aware if you've got small kids in the house and you run down those stairs with socks you will not be running you will be bouncing on your backside down those stairs uh, because staircases you know, um, you, you get, a, say, a hard cherry or hard maple, and you get that nice polyurethane finish on there, and you come down with a pair of uh, slick socks, and boom, you'll go sliding down. So um, if, if I can make a recommendation, go ahead and spend the money. Get yourself a brand-new runner right down the middle of the stairs, something a little more, a little more contemporary, or you don't have to. But just, just be forewarned that, it, it can be a little bit of a hazard. I've, I've seen people uh, come down, uh, they wanted it, you know, just just uh, the staircase, just the wood, and um, a few years later they end up putting on um, um, carpet, carpet runners, you know, because maybe the kids left and now there's grandkids, and uh, scooping them up off the ground because they, you know, it's not, it's fun when you want to slide down a staircase, you know, on a mat or something, but not on your backside. So, um, it's a great time if you're doing your staircase to go ahead, you know, fix those broken balusters, pull them out, get them replaced. Also, maybe to screw down uh, those that squeaky tread. You know, you walk up the stairs, and there's a, you know, um, or if you've got teenagers in your home, you might want to leave that so when they come in past curfew, <clears throat> you already know. So I'm Mark here at. Um, 
discover your home. I just want to thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. Hey, and we'll see you next week. Thanks again. Good night.